General Hospital, GH, spoilers recap for Thursday, October 19, reveals that T.G. Ashford, Taj Bello, congratulated Portia Robinson, Brooke Kerr, on her promotion and delivered the bad news about Cyrus Renault, Jeff Kober, being released from prison. At the Metro Court, Anna Devane, Finola Hughes, met with Jordan Ashford, Tanisha Harper, who understood when Anna wanted to move to a table that was a little more sheltered and less exposed. Anna was still convinced that the WSB was connected to whoever was targeting her. Although Anna assumed they were trying to lull her into a false sense of security, she vowed to be ready when her enemy struck again. Talk turned to Jordan working at Laura Collins. Jenny Francis, deputy mayor, so she admitted she was torn about whether to remain the role or return to her old one as the police commissioner. When Portia arrived, she blew up at Jordan since she thought she deserved a heads up on Cyrus' release. It turned out that Portia didn't know yet either, so she chewed someone out over the phone and said to find out who dropped the ball. Although Portia hoped there was some way to reverse the release and get Cyrus sent back to prison, Anna and Jordan explained why that wasn't going to happen. That said, Jordan and Anna were also hopeful that Cyrus had too much to lose and wouldn't bother Portia or her family. At Valentin Cassadine's, James Patrick Stewart, place he told Laura Collins, Jenny Francis, about Charlotte Cassadine, Scarlett Fernandez, trashing Anna's hotel suite and leaving a threatening message. Laura was skeptical, but Valentin admitted there was security footage proof, though he later revealed that it no longer existed. Valentin also worried that Charlotte took a rideshare from camp and set fire to Anna's house, but Laura struggled to believe her sweet granddaughter would go that far. As Valentin and Laura tried to determine the source of Charlotte's troubles, they realized Victor Cassidine, Charles Shaughnessy, had access to her at boarding school. Laura remembered when she caught Charlotte with Victor in a Metro Court alcove as well, so she became convinced that he'd influenced her behavior. Valentin fumed as he realized Victor got his claws into Charlotte and weaponized her for revenge against Anna. Laura still doubted that Charlotte was behind the arson, but she felt they needed to find a way to break Victor's hold on her. At the hospital, Hamilton Finn, Michael Easton, hoped for a weekend trip with Elizabeth Baldwin, Rebecca Herbst, to make up for the dinner they had to cancel, so Liz agreed to go with him to his friend's cabin. That led to Liz and Finn making some babysitting arrangements as they looked forward to their trip. TG also crossed paths with Finn and teased him about how upbeat he'd been lately since he was like a new person. Next, Maxie Jones, Kirsten Storms, brought Felicia Scorpio, Christina Wagner, breakfast and offered praise regarding her new patient advocate role at GH. During their chat, Felicia gave Maxie some advice to forgive Brooke Lynn Quartermain, Amanda Seton, and tell Sasha Gilmore, Sophia Matson, that she didn't want her to go. At the Invader, Alexis Davis, Nancy Lee Gran, was wearing her lucky suit as she had a strategy session with Gregory Chase, Gregory Harrison, ahead of their meeting with Judge Albert Kim, Kurt Yu. Gregory did his best to butter Judge Kim up once he arrived, so the judge was impressed over Gregory doing his research. After Alexis eased Judge Kim into the interview with some easy questions about his career, she brought up a billionaire investment banker who shared the same views as him. Judge Kim claimed that he'd never met the guy, but Alexis thought that was interesting since Judge Kim flew on the banker's private jet and took a deep-sea fishing trip with him. At the gallery, Spencer Cassidine, Nicholas Alexander Chavez, brought Trina Robinson, Tabiana Ali, a latte along with updates on Nicholas Cassidine, Adam Huss, being alive. However, Spencer pointed out that Nicholas didn't want to come home and acted like it was for the best. Spencer mentioned how he'd throw off his current arrangement with Esm Prince, Avery Pohl, if Nicholas came back. Trina argued that Ace Cassidine, Jay, and Joey Clay needed his father and was upset over Spencer acting like he was more than a brother. Since Spencer admitted Esm was a good mom, Trina reminded him of Esm's past crimes and seemed miffed over him cutting her slack. There were some heated moments as Trina ranted about Spencer playing house with Esm since that was a dream come true for her. 